One critical thing in healthcare is data. Data coming very often from tons of different types of devices. Uh, a big challenge for building applications on top of that data is interoperability. How do you make sense of all that data? Rashmi from the uh, Microsoft Research team is here to show us a project her team is developing to rationalize and to build interoperability around an open standard called Fire with a nice Azure connector. That's today on the IoT Show. Hi everyone, you're watching the Internet of Things show and I'm Olivier, your host. As you might know, there is a lot of IoT devices out there and the medical space is no exception. There's tons of devices that produce data in, in the healthcare systems and the medical environments. And there's a big challenge today, which is all that data uh, needs to be consumed by various systems and we need interoperability. And uh, Rashmi Raj from the Microsoft Research Group is here uh, and is going to tell us about some work that your team is doing. Rashmi, thanks for joining the show today. Sure. So for our audience, can you rapidly introduce yourself and tell us what your team is doing at Microsoft? Okay. So my name is Rashmi Raj. I am part of Health Cloud and Data team. Our team is very focused on creating data platform for interoperability using FHIR Open Standard. FHIR is a rapidly growing standard, um, stands for Fast Health Interoperability Resources. Mm -hmm. My team is specifically focused on creating tools for ingesting and pulling data from these IOMT, Internet of Medical Things, which are devices, applications, sensors, pull that data, bring it to Azure with security and scalability, and um, enable to create huge cases like remote patient monitoring, clinical trials, telehealth, home care scenarios. So this is a full team of you guys working on that. Yep. I think it's brilliant. So we have, we have different services like Azure IoT, Hub and Central that allow connecting these devices securely, as you were saying. Uh, but the key of, of your project really is about ingesting the data coming from various sources of these IoT, IOMT, IO medical things, uh, and, and then you know harnessing that data and doing something out of it in a very interoperable way. Exactly. Um, so let's dive a bit into you know what, what the team is producing. I know there's a connector for Azure that sure. allows ingesting that data. Uh, let's jump into the details. And I know you have a nice demo of how things are working. So. Sure. Okay. So uh, as I said earlier, one of the biggest challenges um, in healthcare has been lack of data interoperability. So we built a Fire server as open source and released it on GitHub. We also have Azure API for Fire, a fully compliant and managed service. To enrich the ecosystem of Fire um, and enabling the data ingestion from IOMT devices, we have created IOMT Fire Connector for Azure. It's available as open source on GitHub. This allows to, again, connect these devices with security um, and scalability um, ingest the data, normalize the data in Fire, and store it in Fire um, server, and then downstream business applications can consume and use open Fire APIs for building applications uh, uh, on top of it. Awesome. And, and so basically the fact that it's open source means that people not only can use it, right, but they also they can contribute. Exactly. Uh, and there's a, there's that standard actually, the standard body that actually works in that Microsoft contributes to in the form of that open source project. Yes. Cool. Well, I, I want to see how that works. Sounds good. So in, so in real world, as I was saying, you will have devices. So if you see mm -hmm. here high level architecture, you have devices. Um, and then you use the IMT Fire Connector, which is open source project, which will allow you to ingest data and persist it in Fire server. Right. And then you will use tools to query the data and create your business applications. So how's it, how's it done today? I mean, like when you have these equipments, like they're set, where are they sending data? Where is that data landing? And how do medical staff and, and, and personnel interact with that data today? So right now, data is very scattered, and that's the reason why we are building on it. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you see in IOMT space, there is no clear standard either. Yep. But what we are building will allow, answering your question, to bring this data in an interoperable way on Azure. 
Okay. And Azure is, again, secure, compliant cloud. Mm -hmm. So you can bring PHI, protected health information data, and store it. Uh, and uh, our services are fully HIPAA compliant, mm -hmm. as well as high trust and SOC2 uh, compliant as well. I see. So, uh, so basically, you get all the benefits of that Azure compliance with these uh, requirements. Uh, and the other thing you get as well, I guess, is the ability as you're building an infrastructure or a solution to aggregate different sources of data, different types of devices, and offer to your customers, which would be in a hospital or you know, a healthcare facility or something, an actual you know, one solution versus a scattered set of apps and things to maintain and so forth, right? Exactly. And on top of it, since we are using FHIR standard, you can bring EMR, electronic medical record data, along with devices data. You can bring lab data. Mm. We are also looking at retail data. We are also looking at social determinant of health data as well, mm -hmm. and bring all of them with interoperability with the goal yeah. to create a longitudinal patient record mm -hmm. so that you can use that data and create AI machine learning model for improving healthcare. With scalability, security, and privacy at the core of all of that. Exactly. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Well, I want to see so, it. <laughs> so for the demo, um, we will use IoT Central for simulating yeah. the device. Mm -hmm. We will go to GitHub and deploy IOMT connector. Okay. We will use Azure API for Fire, and then we will use Postman to query the data and see the data yeah. um, in the Fire Store. So let's go to Azure Portal. So here I'm at the Azure Portal. Mm -hmm. I go Azure API for Fire, okay. and I add and uh, create uh, Azure API for Fire Server. Okay. I have already created with the basic configuration. So you can see I have a Fire Server created. Mm -hmm. The important thing is the endpoint that we will use it when we deploy um, IOMT connector. Okay. So that's the first step. We have Fire Server now. Okay. In the second step, I go to GitHub. This is the IMT Fire um, GitHub repository. Yep. So we're here, have a short link at the end of the presentation for this one for people to find it. Sure. Yep. And here you have we have rich document about the architecture, how to use it, how to mm -hmm. debug it. For easy deployment, you just go to Getting Started, and you click Deploy to Azure. When you deploy to Azure, it will bring you to basic configuration screen where mm -hmm. you can choose resource group, you can put service name. The important thing is to use your Fire Server URL. Okay. So the Fire Server that we created in the previous step, I've already um, saved it here. Okay. You remove slash metadata here. You just need the basic URL. Okay. So IOMT connector is deployed. After the deployment, um, what we need to do is we need to take the identity of IOMT connector and save it in Fire so that IOMT connector can write data to Fire Server. Security. Like Security. We, we, like we are sure that we know the source of data is recognized. Exactly. Awesome. So I come to Fire Server, go to authentication, mm -hmm. and add the managed identity okay. of the connector here. Okay. So now we have server, we have connector, which is ready and configured to talk to each other. Okay. Now, devices. Okay. So for the demo, we will use IoT Central yep. for simulating devices. Okay. So I can, went to IoT Central, created an application. Mm -hmm. Here, you can create custom application or yep. you choose pre-created template. Yeah, so we have the new templates for healthcare. Exactly, oh, so, and yep. that's what I'm going to use. Awesome. So we have a template, continuous patient monitoring. Yep. I choose it and create it. When I create this application, it creates, it comes with a dashboard yep. as well as two pre-created devices. Okay. For my demo, we are going to use Smart Vitals Patch. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to Device yep. Template. And for those who are not familiar with Azure IoT in general, Azure IoT Central is that quote unquote, not turnkey solution, but it's what we call a, um, a, a solution platform. So you very rapidly get to work with simulators, and that's what you're showing right now, exactly. that will send the same kind of data an actual device would send. Yep. Right? And there's a way of describing a device capabilities uh, in IoT Central, that device will be compliant with, and will be able to send data to Azure IoT Central, then then you're going to consume in the connector. Exactly, we will yeah. come consume it. So if we Love use it. here a Smart Vitals Patch, you can see it had telemetry or okay. biometric data, mm -hmm. the PHI data mm -hmm. I was talking about, about my health information, yeah. for example, heart rate, respiratory rate. It also has data for device monitoring, right? Okay. Device battery, device. Uh, temperature, device firmware version. Mm -hmm. For medical and this scenario, we will focus on the biometric or telemetry data. Okay. 
So, let us see that um, data as an example in JSON format. So, if you see, this is an example of the data coming from a smart vitals patch. Mm -hmm. So, you see heart rate, respiratory rate, and other data format. Okay. Yep. Once you have data, now we need to create two templates so that this data can be extracted and mapped to open FHIR standard. Okay. For in the same, I have gone to the same IMT FHIR repository, the yeah. GitHub repo. Here we have sample template which will give you a good example of how this template looks like yeah. as well as there is a detailed document on how to create a new template for okay. your own devices. Okay. So these are two templates, one for device, one for FHIR mapping. So if you see device one, I am picking up heart rate and other information. Got it extracting it from yeah. the device. And that's the way you normalize the data. Exactly. It's coming from different devices, you know which device is the data format, and then you normalize to something that is fire compliant, basically. Exactly. And so when we were creating it, we were debating, should we create for a few devices, or should yeah. we create it in such a way that you can bring any device. So the way it is now, you can bring any device. As I long see. as you have the template, yeah. you can pick it up yeah. and normalize it. And once again, it's an open source project. Exactly. If people want to contribute these templates, these converters for data normalization, they can definitely contribute to the project. Exactly. And as we move, we mm -hmm. also plan to contribute and create for like very common variables like Fitbit, Garmin, create those templates okay. here so that people can get started uh, yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah. So we have those two templates. You take these two templates, save it into the storage account for mm -hmm. the IMT connector. Okay. So now if you see end to end, we have um, fire server, we have the connector, and we have simulated device. Mm -hmm. I go to the simulated device, again, the IoT Central yep. um, application, and yep. I export this data mm -hmm. to IMT connector. IMT connector is listening on Event Hub. Okay. So I go to Event Hub. I select um, IMT connector. I have already created one here. Okay. And I choose the device data. Mm -hmm. As I said, I'm interested in telemetry, the heart rate, respiratory rate, okay. PHI data. Mm -hmm. I save it. Nice. So, so it's now, as easy as that. Exactly. Yeah. And you have we have now device connector and fire server, and nice. the data is flowing through. Yes. Now, with this, let's go to now Postman and mm -hmm. query Azure API yep. for Fire and see the data, especially heart rate data. So I'm opening Postman here. So I come to Postman here, and I am querying, again, Open API standard, mm -hmm. yep. and querying the heart rate with the long code. Okay. And I send it, and it comes back. And as I scroll, I can see the heart rate here, mm -hmm. and uh, I can see the um, data value for the heart rate here as well. Awesome. In a matter of minutes, you actually built an actual, you know, fire compliant solution. Obviously, behind that Postman example, you would have an actual application with a dashboarding, with eventing workflows, and so on, exactly. as you had in your diagram at the beginning. Exactly. Or you can take data from fire, and you can do AI machine learning uh, to again going to scenarios like mm -hmm. telehealth, remote patient monitoring. Yeah. and um, all other data interoperability scenarios. And the key here, as you were saying, is the security mm -hmm. and scalability which Azure IoT platform gives. You start with a few devices and you can scale it to hundreds and millions of devices yep. Yep. and store it with privacy um, on Azure. Awesome. That, that's fantastic work you guys are doing, leveraging the Azure IoT technology, adding on top of that. You're part of Microsoft Research. So you need input and feedback. So what's your ask to our audience today? So the ask is first that go and check out the GitHub repository. Mm -hmm. It's open source. Uh, try it out. Extend it. Add templates, uh, file bugs, uh, add code base, and give us feedback. We are very excited to see the work that we are doing, how it's helping the community to improve the healthcare. Awesome. So the short link to get to that GitHub repo, if you don't catch it in the video, is aka.ms slash IoT show slash IOMT connector as IO medical things, Internet of Medical Things connector. Uh, thanks, Rashmi, for joining us on the show today. Hope to see you soon and the work your guys are doing uh, you know, on, on another episode. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you soon.